Welcome back folks. So today I'm going to be showing you the new SYNC 4 system. I'm going to be demonstrating on this 2021 F-150 Lariat 502A. Um, strictly going through the SYNC 4 system. I'm going to show you guys the new stuff. It's got 3D maps now. It's got personal profiles. It's got a whole bunch of stuff. So whether you're looking at the F-150 or whether you just bought an F-150, I'm just going to be going through nice and slow, show you everything with the SYNC 4 system. Tune in. I'll show you lots. Thanks. All right, folks, we're inside here now. <clears throat> the beautiful Lariat 502A Sport. Um, a lot has changed, like a million things have changed. I can go on forever. What I wanna show you guys mainly today is the SYNC 4 system. So you can see the big 12 inch productivity screen here. Obviously it's all touch screen. Uh, if you currently drive an F-150, what's gonna be a little different is you normally have a home screen button right here. Now, instead of having a home screen button, you're gonna have your main view here, what you wanna see, and then whatever you want at all times is gonna be here. So if you're viewing the radio stations, the audio profile, and you want to see the navigation on the side this is going to be labeled your favorite and then this will be your la labeled your favorite secondary so if i go into the navigation screen my second favorite will come over here which is going to be radio if i go into anything else you're going to see that navigation is going to pop back up there okay so let's start off screen by screen this is going to look very familiar to anyone who drives a ford anyone that doesn't you can do xm radio am radio fm radio you have all your saves down here uh, by changing that you can change that just put it to any station that you want and then uh, you're just gonna press and hold one of your buttons at the very bottom here. And then it will change to whatever one you want, 50s on five. So that's a little coverage on that. Your phone, we can now connect phones. You know what, I'm just gonna do it for you, see here? Search so, um, for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. So in case you guys, your salesperson didn't connect your phone, I'll walk you through this right now. So on your phone, you're gonna come into Bluetooth right here, and then it's gonna come up like this. On the screen, you're gonna press Discover Other Devices, Continue. You have Your phone has to be on this Select screen in order for it to pick it up. Found by sync. I'm gonna pick iPhone. <clears throat> Confirm that the pin displayed five, on four, six, matches zero, one, the pin six, displayed five, four, six, on your device. Six. Press pair on your phone, press yes on your screen. Uh, I don't need to allow the contacts or anything like that for right now. I wish this was my truck, so maybe I should, but uh, all right. So now we're fully safe. So 911 Assist, we're going to turn that on. Conditions and use Sync's voice activated features while your vehicle is in motion. So what that means, guys, if we turn the 911 Assist on, that means that if you get in an accident, it'll automatically call emergency services. Now this right here is going to be brand new to the Sync 4 system. Use CarPlay with Sync 4. So in previous models of Ford, you actually had to plug your phone into the USB port in order to get Apple and or uh, Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. It's wireless. So I'm gonna press use Apple CarPlay here. I'm gonna finish this up, enable Apple CarPlay. Now we're actually gonna be connecting to it. So as you can see, phone's not plugged in, nothing. We're actually now connected right through there. So I can get my messages, I can go through to my music, I can pull up my maps, I can do all that kind of stuff. Now the other really nice thing about this, anyone who used Apple CarPlay previously, it was a little bit difficult because when you were on your Apple CarPlay screen, it, you were unable to hit your navigation screen and all your, all your actual truck features, right? Well now, as you can see, with this handy little screen here, I got my phone, my iPhone right here. With the maps on it, I also have navigation there. So if I wanted to check my messages, I can go through all this stuff and continue with my navigation there, or I could just go back to my normal screen. So here's my radio, all the normal stuff, and then you still have your nav over here. Okay, so that's CarPlay, navigation. This is mind blowing here. So, so this screen's probably gonna look pretty familiar to most of you guys, look pretty familiar. Um, what's different about this, uh, it's gonna give you live traffic updates. It's a little bit similar to the Waze app, if you guys have ever seen that, which by the way, um, with wireless uh, Apple and Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, you'll be able to pull your Waze app right up on your wirelessly now, which is cool. But anyway, for those of you that don't have that, it'll give you like updates on road traffic. It'll tell you where the slow routes are, where the fast routes are, the best ways to go. The coolest thing I've seen about this yet is I'm gonna zoom out here and I'm gonna go to Toronto on the map. I think we should be up here somewhere in here right there so as i said outside when i'm going to be showing you the 3d navigation check this out guys there's your cn tower 
you can actually go right into Toronto and see where all these buildings are. So in case you wanted to go to a certain building and didn't know exactly how to get there, you can literally plan your trip and, and see buildings. If you need to go in that building, you can see where parking is, where the best areas are to be. And then as you zoom out, it's just gonna go back to your normal screen here. All right, favorites plus. So this is for your phone. You can add just a bunch of stuff. So you can, you can add profiles now. So basically, if this was my truck, I'd add mine as a profile. It's gonna remember my seat, my steering wheel, my mirrors. It's gonna remember my radio stations. It's going to remember basically everything I like. If I like my seat a certain way and, you know, my heated seat only be two two clicks on out of three rather than three, like, it'll remember all that stuff, right? Your climate zones, what you like, when the temperatures are certain temperatures outside, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so, yeah, you have all that kind of stuff. Apps, you can download apps, which with wireless Apple, uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, don't really need that screen too much anymore, but it will still come in handy. Um, and then this screen will look basically the same as uh, as before with obviously a couple added features um, Another thing you can control now on the big screen here is the um, All this all this stuff used to be controlled by the dash here now your easy exit entry So that means when you get in your seat moves and stuff you can uh, you can change all that your ambient lighting your door keypad code all that kind of stuff the features tab here, this is pretty neat. So one is your owner's manual. So you actually have a digital owner's manual in these now, instead of having to go into the glove box, pull the owner's manual out and look at all that stuff. Categories, visual search, visuals, visual search, can't say that, bookmarks, videos, you can look for it all. So if you wanna look something up, you click in the search bar right there, search something, and then there you go. So let's go back here, zone lighting. This is really, really cool. Um, first thing that comes to my mind when I see this feature I'm a hunter so when I look at that I'm thinking you know I got a deer down and I got to clean it and I can set it on one side of the truck so I can turn the rear lights on which means I got light out the back I can turn the right lights on so I have LED mirrors that are coming down from the side um, two lights actually I can turn my headlights on I don't know if you can look in the reflection of that truck but as you turn this on and off you're actually gonna see you can control your lights completely right by this screen <clears throat> which is which is pretty unbelievable. You can just do all lights. So everything at night, this is just gonna be glowing. There's gonna be a halo around this thing. <clears throat> okay, uh, towing, owner's manual, driver assistance. This screen is gonna look pretty familiar to any, four, uh, any uh, Lincoln or Ford drivers right now. Um, all this stuff. So auto hold, that means when you come to a stop, um, it'll auto hold the brake for you, which means you don't have to sit there with your foot on the brake the whole time. Once you come to a complete stop, that's it. You can pull your foot off the brake, you can sit back comfortably and not have to sit there holding it the whole time. Cruise control, we got the adaptive cruise control set on, intelligent cruise control, lane centering assist, normal cruise control. You can do whatever you want there. Intelligent cruise control is actually gonna read the stop sign, or sorry, the speed signs on the road. So you can see right here, speed limit assist, speed warning, you can, you can do all sorts of stuff with this thing. Lane keeping system, alert, you can change that to alert and aid. You can change the sensitivity on it. Um, it'll actually show you pictures, which is good. Ford did a great job at actually showing us what it's going to do. So you can see it's gonna show you a little picture here saying alert, it's just gonna alert you. It's gonna vibrate your steering wheel, telling you get back in the lane. If you go to aid, you can see it's actually gonna turn your steering wheel for you, steering you back into the lane, and then alert and aid. Obviously, it's gonna do both. So it's gonna alert you by vibrating the steering wheel and turn your steering wheel, bring you back in. Um, other than that, guys, there's a ton more to this thing. Like you can set your different screens here. So if you really like the idea of the zone lighting and you want to see that screen there at all times for full control, you can leave it right there and then just play with it as you need. Um, eco behavior. So if you want to watch all this, now this hasn't really been driven too much. It just got dropped off here not long ago. Um, so all this stuff is all going to be changed as you drive according to your driving habits, right? Fuel economy, you can see that screen right here rather than over here. Tons of options, guys. Th this Sync 4 screen really is amazing. Um, <clears throat> I've done quite a bit of research on it, but once again, I'm sure there's still some stuff that I don't know, right? So um, it's impossible to know everything. Um, anyway, yeah, that's, that's basically the touch screen. Um, up here, you have your different camera options. So there's your big reverse camera. Also, if you put it in reverse, you'll have that reverse camera as well. And it's uh, it's huge, nice uh, <clears throat> nice and clear. 
This right here is gonna be your park aid assist. So what that does, it'll actually uh, automatically apply the parking brake every time you put it in park. So rather than you having to apply your parking brake, it just does it for you. Um, <clears throat> then you can zoom in. So if I had a ball hitch there, you're gonna be able to get a really good view of that ball as you're backing up to your trailer. That there, of course, so as we get close to something, it'll start beeping at you because it has the reverse sensing system. You can turn that off so it won't beep at you anymore. So that's an option there. So last thing I want to show you guys is just going to be the different drive modes. We went through the Sync 4 system. This handy little button right here is unlike all the other ones. So before, you just went from 2 high, 4 auto in the Lariats, 4 high and 4 low. What you're going to do now, I'll just get you to view in on this screen. And I'm just going to turn this button. It's going to do all the thinking for us. So now we're going in tow haul mode. It's going to show you a great little picture there of a truck pulling a trailer. Here's eco mode, all the screen views all change, sport mode, four by four shift in progress. So what's great about this, if you look back here, it automatically put us in four auto guys. And then on your screen over here, you're gonna see the sport mode symbol, same as the last one, and then four A showing us it's in four auto. As I go the other way, I love these pictures. It just looks amazing. Back to normal, so let's go slippery. So slippery, same thing. It's just going to change the way the power goes to it. Once again, keeps us in four auto. Go to the next one here. So we're going to be in deep snow or sand. So now what it's done, it's locked through our axle for us. We're in four high. And once again, it's changed all that. So over here, you're going to see once again, the symbol, it's in four high. We got a locked rear axle. Traction control is turned off in case we got to climb one of those hills. Let's see what the next one is here. Mud and ruts. Let's see what this thing does. Okay, so still four high. So it's going to be pretty much the same. It's just going to put the power differently. So still four high, still locked in the rear axle, and we got our track control off. And that's her, guys. Deep snow and sand, slippery. I love the way it shows everything there. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, like and subscribe if you have any questions at all please comment below and uh, and let me know if you want to see something specific if you have questions if you want me to go over one more step with you or whatever i'm happy to make videos anything you guys need once again like subscribe and we'll talk to you guys soon thanks